And um, good morning, and welcome to the platform. And was I just start off um with um, um reading of the book of Psalm. Um, I just started that off before I hand over to Sister Jill for um to lead us in worship. And I just reading from um Psalm ninety six. I'm reading the ESV version. Psalm ninety six. Um, let's we'll start off with verse one. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and um, greatly to be praised. He is to be feared among all gods. Verse 5, for all the gods of the people, peoples are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. And verse 7, ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in splendor and holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. And just want to come before you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And Lord, that you are a great God. We come before you, Lord. You know, bring in offering. Our heart, our offering is our heart that we are placing on this altar before you. We come with our heart placed at the altar. And that, Lord, you will seek, search our heart and see if there's anything that is not, that is unpleasant. Any hidden sin that we may have. And that, Lord, we ask that if there is anything that is unpleasant to you, May you reveal to us, convict our hearts, so we come before you in repentance. And that, Lord, you will cleanse our heart. Cleanse our heart, Lord. Let us have a clean heart, a pure heart, a heart that will come before you, will seek you, a heart that will desire you, that will love you. I love you 100%. Nothing shall we withhold, withhold from you. We give all our heart to you. So Lord, come and be pleased. Come, Lord, and come and minister to us, Lord, as we offer you praises because you are worthy of it all. Lord, speak to us and reveal to us, Lord, uh, the deep, the deep things, secrets, Lord. Help us, Lord, to understand you in a deeper way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, which, and we will honor, we will honor the Lord with worship and with thanksgiving and praise Him. Amen. 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 Yes, let's just posture ourselves this morning. Posture ourselves before the throne this morning. Let's just come, come in reverence, come in expectation and let's come with hearts just leaned in um to jesus just to to adore him to worship him and have him lead us he is the way he's the truth he's the life thank you lord jesus we worship you uh, we, we worship you lord i've also got um, another scripture that i want to share but we'll We'll start just um, leaning into worship first. Jesus, Jesus, holy and anointed one. Jesus, 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 risen and exalted one, Jesus. 
Your name is like honey on my lips. Your spirit like water to my soul. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, Jesus, holy and anointed one, Jesus, oh Jesus. Jesus, risen and exalted one, Jesus, your name is like honey on my lips, your spirit like water to my soul, your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Mm. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Oh, 
but I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you. You where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do. And I will love you, Lord, my strength. I will love you, Lord, my shield. I will love you, Lord. My rock forever, all my days, I will love you, God. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns forever, all my days. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns forever, all my days. Hallelujah. You where my help comes from. Oh, you're where my help comes from. I look to the mountains. I look to the hills. Where my help comes from you. My help comes from you. No one else is mighty to save like you. No one else is mighty to save like you. Strong deliverer, strong deliverer you are. Where my help comes from. Thank you, Lord, you are our strong deliverer. Your arm is not short, Lord, to help us. There is no pit too deep that you can't reach down into and pull us out. Your goodness and your mercy, Lord, they follow us all the days of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just also wanted to um, read a psalm this morning. Just to share with us this, the mightiness of God. And to keep that as our focus as we go further into this year. Just to have, <clears throat> just at the front and centre of our mind. And as we embrace every new day, and as we look ahead at each challenge that comes our way, or we're still dealing with struggles in our lives, I was just reminded of a song that I'll sing in a moment, but this psalm that goes with this song just yesterday, Psalm 93, the Lord is king. 
even that first opening statement, the Lord is king, is a powerful statement that can demolish strongholds in our lives when we declare it over them. He's king, not the circumstance, not the sickness, not the family issue, not the financial burden, not the strained relationship, not the lack of employment, not the depression that we face or the weariness or the overwhelm. None of these things are king. They're present, but they're not king. And even those first few words of that psalm, the Lord is king, it starts with a declaration that is so powerful. Then it goes on to say, he is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breakers of the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever and ever. Let those words wash over us this morning, Lord God, as we reflect on just how powerful you are. We look at the devastation of the elements around the world in flood, particularly. And we think about how the seas rage and the waves pound on the shore and the effect that that has and the noise level. But you're mightier than all of these things. And we give you praise. We worship you, Lord. Let's declare that together. This might well not be a familiar song to, to you, but it speaks of this psalm and it just gives us cause for reflection. Yes, God. We acknowledge your mighty power this morning. Mightier than the thunders of great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. It's you who stands firm, you who is robed in majesty. Mightier than the skies that hold the clouds, mightier than the heavens high above. It's you who stands firm, you who is robed in majesty. All the seas lift up their voices and skies. And the big drops and the rocks cry out your name. Time just stands still. Mightier than the stones that hold the world. Mightier than the rock underneath my feet. It's you who stands firm. You who is robed in majesty. Mightier than the time that marches on. Mightier than the countless centuries. It's you who stands for. You who is throned in majesty. Oh, the seas. Lift up their voices and the skies pound their big drums and the rocks cry out 
Put your name, time just stands still. Time just stands still, we just stand still. This glorious moment can't just end till we sing out loud, sing out to you our love. Time just stands still, we just stand still. This glorious moment can't just end till we sing out loud, sing out to you our love. Oh, the seas lift up their voices, and the skies pound their big drums. And the rocks cry out your name. Time just stands still. Mightier than the thunder of the seas. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. It's you who stands firm. You who is thrown in majesty. Mightier than the skies that hold the clouds. Mightier than the heavens high above. It's you who stands firm. You who is thrown in majesty. Mightier than the great waters. Mightier than the sound of the raging seas, you are mightier than all. Oh, Jesus, you created this world by your hand and your breath. You are above it all. God, our Father, by the breath of your mouth, you said, let there be. You said, let there be. Form and order. Form and order from chaos and darkness, there was light hovering over the waters. The spirit was brooding, and she spoke. Yes, you spoke. Speak now, Holy Spirit. Speak now, God our Father. Speak now, Jesus Redeemer, over our lives. Speak now, bring order from chaos. Speak now, bring light out of darkness. Speak now, bring peace in the raging storm. One word from your mouth. One word from your mouth. One word from your mouth is more powerful. One word from your mouth, one word from your mouth, one word from your mouth is more powerful. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shut up. I should get out of it. Just as uh, Sister Jill was sharing about water, um, you know, the sound of waves pounding, and this um, Exodus chapter 15 comes to 
um, to me. So that, that so if, if you look at Exodus chapter 15, and we read uh, from uh, verse 1 to 13, it says, um, it's, it's the song of deliverance. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord. I'm reading the NLT version. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. And verse 3, the Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh chariots and army, he has hurled into the sea. The finest of Pharaoh's officers drown in the Red Sea. It just reminds me of the things that, um, but, but even my personal life, the things that are, are, you know, day in and day out, we are hurled in with so many um, challenges. Sometimes even our our faith is, is being tested. And so these these things are like, it reminds me that the, to tell me that the Lord is my strength, and you know, in my deepest when I'm down, even He is my song. What do I say? I just sing a song to the Lord. You know, we just have to declare He has given me victory. We may be still in the midst of in in the water, but we just declare He has given me victory, because in the past we have seen the Lord has given victory. You know, to the people of Israel. And you know he have he has hurled you know Pharaoh's greatest army you know into the Red Sea, and verse five it says the deep water gushed over them and they sank to the bottom like a stone. Verse six, your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy in greatness of your majesty. You overthrow those who rise against you. You unleash your blazing fury. It consumes them like straw. At the blast of your breath, the waters pile up. The surging waters stood straight like a wall. In the heart of the sea, the deep waters become hard. So you can see the Lord is great. He can overthrow those who are who rise against you. Enemy who rise against you, who surrounds you, the Lord can overthrow. He with his right hand, you know, he overthrows your enemy because and he unleashes his anger, his fury. And it all burn off like straw. And you know, and 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 verse nine, the enemy boasted, I will chase them and catch up with them. I will plunder them and consume them. I will flash my sword that my powerful hand will destroy them. How many times we feel that our enemy tells them and laugh at us, saying that, you know, um, we are we we are we are small, you know. We, the, the, the lies of the enemy that tells us we are not good enough, you know, we, we are not knowledgeable. And, you know, all this pounding upon you. But the Lord, in verse 10, he said, but you blew with your breath, the sea covered them, and they sank like lead in the mighty waters. The Lord will, will, will you know, will cover all these accusations against you. And verse 11, who is like you among the gods, O Lord, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders. You raise your right hand and the earth swallow our enemies. With your unfailing love, you lead the people you redeem. In your might, you guide them to your sacred home. So just be encouraged uh, that the Lord, you know, is not far. His unfailing love, he will lead you because you are people redeemed redeemed by Christ Jesus and you know the Lord will keep you safe and we continue to uplift his we lift up his name Lord I thank you Lord with your word here you know even though each and every day sometimes we are mocked because we are we believe in your truth we are mocked for standing up for Jesus and others do not believe um, the things we say but Lord Lord, you are our deliverer. Lord, you are the one that will you are you are the one who have redeemed us and therefore Lord we are not ashamed. We will not live in shame, but Lord, we will lift up our head high up. We will continue to praise you. For you are a glorious God. You are majestic. You are splendor. You're full of splendor. You're magnificent. 
and Lord, even though our enemy, you know, glow at us, laugh at us, you know, hurl accusation at us, and even um, they look down and humiliate us, but we will not be afraid because Lord, you are victorious, and Lord, just as you, how you overthrow Israel's enemy, Pharaoh and his army, you know, his chariots and all that, you know, the greatest army of that time. You have overcome them. You're, you have split the sea and opened up path, make the impossible happen. The same you can go do it for us. This time in this season, in, that Lord, you open up the path. Lord, we will, as long as we keep following you, we obey your word and we lift up your righteousness. Therefore, you are your right hand, Lord. Your right hand will smash our enemy. Lord, in your greatness, as verse 7, in your greatness of your majesty, you overthrow those who rise against us, us as your people, because those who are against us, because they reject you, and therefore you will overthrow them. You will unleash your blazing fury. fury. It consumes them. You will burn. You will burn, burn them, Lord. Yes. And Lord, even at the blast of your breath, Lord, waters pile up. Surging water stood straight like a wall in the heart of the sea, the deep waters become hard. Oh Lord, you can do miracle. When the when people tell us it's impossible, Lord, it is possible for you because you have opened up the sea and the water become hard like the wall for your people to pass through. And therefore we will pass through. We will pass through whatever struggle that is, you know, um put upon our lives as the enemy envy us as the enemy wants to turn us away from you we will be successful we will be victorious because lord you are with us it is not our battle but it is yours and that lord we will continue to live a life of righteousness to continue to share the truth in the darkness because lord in the darkness when when there is light darkness have to flee and none can share the same space so either one or the other. And because we are of the light, we know we are hated. We are hated because we cause you know, the evil to flee. Our presence in the room, because as we carry your aroma, Lord, we know we bring, your, we bring about changes. We bring about, we carry you wherever we go. We are that light, we are that mm -hmm. soul. We will change you know, atmosphere that are, you know, that are, are tense, we will bring peace into the atmosphere. And, you know, um, even, even um, places where, or even in, in, in environment that are hostile, we bring in love because we carry the aroma of Christ in us. And Lord, we are your vessel. And where places that, where administration are, are, are you know, are, are done uh, administration of things, and uh, not when whatever it is in at workplace, you know, it may be um unclean. But when we come in, we bring in your aroma. We transform things, righteousness, you know, integrity will come into the environment. And we thank you, Lord, that you are with us, Lord. We thank you, Lord. That Lord, you are close with us. And Lord, you are accessible to us. Oh Lord. May we, Lord, continue to come before you, to know your heart, Lord. And each and every day, we carry this at the altar, Lord. We make ourselves vulnerable, we surrender to you. And Lord, you put in our heart whatever that's in your heart, and we carry with us every day. And that will sustain us, whatever the enemy hurl at us, whatever the enemy do to us, you know, we will not succumb to the lies of the enemy or the tricks of the enemy, because mm -hmm. Lord, you have sustained us. Our strength comes from you. Our wisdom comes from you. And Lord, our reasoning, everything comes from you discernment and all this Lord you have said if we come before you and we ask you shall give us so Lord, therefore we ask that you give us discernment you know, to discern 
things from gray, you know, um, the gray areas especially. Sometimes it's just hard to make this, the right decision. But Lord, you will guide our path because we desire to walk in holiness. We desire to walk in righteousness and we want to up, continue to live a righteous life, a holy life. Because this is what my father, our father desires for the, from his children. And Lord, we want to love you. There's nothing that we can do you know, to, to say thank you. You know, to, to, to say thank you for what you have given to us. You have you given us Jesus Christ to die on the cross, you know, as a penalty of our sin. There's nothing I, I can do to say thank you. There's no gifts that I can give you other than surrendering my heart. Mm -hmm. That Lord, you will mold my heart, Lord, to be how you want it to be. Mm -hmm. That is my only sacrifice, you know, my love offering for you, my time my heart, my life, that is what I can offer you to you, Lord. And may it be pleasing, a pleasing ar aroma to you as we offer our heart to you at this altar, even at our personal altar back at home. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we lift up your name up high. Thank you. Thank you. Are you um, Jill, are you able to play the song I Exalt Me? Yeah. yeah. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, O oh Lord, thou, O oh Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, O Lord, I exalt thee, I exalt thee. I exalt thee, O Lord. This God Almighty, we choose, Lord, to exalt you high above every situation, every idol, every circumstance, Lord, that would seek to take the place of all our attention we choose to exalt you lord it's an act of faith an act of obedience and an act of love lord like alice said we, we can't bring you anything else but ourselves and our hearts we have nothing of value or worth to give except our lives and our hearts which were so valuable to you that you gave everything everything that you had you gave for us so we just say thank you Jesus and the honor and the privilege is to declare that you are exalted above all things <clears throat> Lord, we want you. 
and to rule and reign high above everything in our lives. Well, you do, but we want to acknowledge it, Lord, and we want to live our lives with that truth firmly embedded in our hearts, that our thoughts would come from that place, that our actions and our decisions would come from that place that our words of our mouth, the declaration of our lips would come from that place. I was thinking about um, how important, and this is a theme that the Lord has had me thinking and sharing on for quite some time now but just how important what comes out of our mouths is because he spoke and he caused creation he caused everything that we read about in the book of genesis the beginning he caused that just by speaking that's how powerful his breath is his command is and we know that by the um everything was created through jesus by the works of his hand it's the command of the father and the work of the lord jesus and the function and the power of the holy spirit that causes these things to occur and we are made in his image, brothers and sisters. We are made in his image. We are also creative beings. And the Bible reminds us that um, the power of life and death are in the tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit of it. We are responsible for speaking out creative things, not destructive things. And so easily we fall into the trap of the enemy to make a declaration over our lives that is negative rather than positive. We have all do it all the time. God's really challenging us, I believe, in this season to bring our speech into the alignment of the word of God and the truth of who he is. It doesn't mean that we deny the facts in front of us. We're not denial speakers but we're truth speakers because his truth always supersedes the fact and what we see before us you know israel could not deny they were being chased down by pharaoh and the chariots and they couldn't deny that they'd stood before the red sea that was a blockade to them they couldn't go anywhere but the truth was God was making a way where there was no way. And if he's done it once, he'll do it again. So it's important that we make <clears throat> declarations about the things that are in the word of God, that the truth consistent with him and his character and what he has done before, he will do again. So let's watch carefully over what comes out of our mouths. Let's declare this word. The Lord is king. He is throned in majesty. He is mightier than the breakers of the sea, the pounding of the waves on the shore. He is the light that pierces the darkness. In him is no darkness at all. And I was just reminded that Jesus said, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's a real challenge to us, friends. What is in your heart is going to come out of your mouth. What is in my heart is going to come out of my mouth. So important that we surrender our hearts to the Lord and that our hearts and minds and spirits are full of his word more than the, the word of the world, the word of the enemy, so that what comes out of our mouth 
is power, is light, is life. That is the inheritance of the redeemed, the inheritance of his family. Yes, how wonderful is that? It's our inheritance to be like our Abba Father and speak and see things change. That's why Jesus said you will speak to the mountain and it will be cast into the sea. We command, we declare, we proclaim like our Father God because we're made in his image. Not magic words, not wishful thinking, but faith-filled words. Words that are seasoned in the word of God because we've allowed it to seep deep into our being and form the culture of our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Let's immerse ourselves in the truth of who God is, in his word. So much so that that's just what comes out of our mouth. It's just natural that we would speak light and life. That his word would go forth into the darkness and do what only his word can do because it never returns void. It always achieves and accomplishes that which it was purposed to do. Thank you, God. As we come to you know, to the near closing, just this verse, um, Psalm hundred and twenty five is it's like a, a declaration, <clears throat> you know, it's um, um, that you know the declaration that I, I'm reading from the ESV version. It says, "To those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever." As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evil doers. Peace be upon Israel. This is a declaration, you know, a promise toward Israel. And we are grafted into that family. And therefore, the same promise holds for us that those who trust in the Lord, we are like that mountain that cannot be moved, you know. And we, you know, and, and but, but we stay there because we can't be moved. We stay there. So the righteousness of the Lord, you know, the righteousness, is our portion and therefore with that that our we are secure in the Lord. This as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, the Lord surrounds his people. You know, we have seen it, you know, in the in in when the people of um the Israelites they move out of Egypt, the Lord surround them with a cloud in the day and the like as they travel in darkness in you know and they settle in, in the desert at night. So the Lord is with us. Open up our eyes to see the Lord moving. Um, you know, within us, our our within our circumstances, our situation, our family, the Lord is moving. He is still at work. And you know, the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. The Lord has allotted inheritance to us, to the righteous people. And we, you know, so we just have to be. Um, I like said the discernment, so that Lord, so that we, you know, do not, um, follow the evil doers, and not um, and you know, um, the Lord will do good to those who are upright in heart, and that's what we are. We are people who come before the Lord and ask the Lord to search our heart for anything that is unpleasant to in His sight. Um, some sins are. We have committed and we know. But there are sometimes, there are things, even for myself, that I thought it was okay. But the Lord convicts my heart, you know. 
And so we every day we do have to search our heart. Um, you know, we, we, we just live in this in a in a culture that, you know, good is called bad and bad is called good. So we have to consistently to ask God, Lord, remove us from that culture so that we are aware that we are aligned with the Lord, with his mind, with his thought. And just as Sister Jill said, out of our heart, you know, our mouth speaks. And so our heart to dwell in the things of the Lord. So just hold on to this promise the Lord has said that he will be with you. You know, um, he, he's, his righteousness will be with you. And know those who do good, he will be with you. And, you know, and, and he will continue to pour into your life. So, yeah, we stay firm in the Lord. That's all, um, you know, just stay firm in times. We are times things are getting harder, but the Lord will sustain us. The Lord enables his people. The Lord provides for his people. Do not worry. Um, you know, do not do do not um continually to be overwhelmed by the things of the world. But seek ye first. You know, seek the Lord first, seek ye first the kingdom of the God of the Lord and his righteousness, and the rest will be added upon you upon upon it. So seek God first. Mm -hmm. And the rest will fall in place. Someone mm -hmm. was sharing with me a story that you have a jar. You know, um, when you put, you try to put a lot of all the little things in it. In the end, it's it's filled, yes, but you know, it's 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 um, there are some big things, which are could be promises and goodness of the Lord that cannot fit in the jar because you fill in all the small things with all the little uh things, little like sand and and tiny pebble, but if you put the bigger stones in it, you know, and then you can fill it with sand and it all fills to the brim. Because when you put God first, you know, his His truth, um, uphold his righteousness and live a holy life, the rest of the things, you know, your own ambition, they will fill in the, into the cracks in between the jar. And so that's why put mm -hmm. God's priority first and your other things, you know, the needs of your, of your, your personal desire, God knows it and it will fit in when it's in alignment with mm -hmm. his will and purpose. So uh, be encouraged um, you know, for, for, for all of you who are listening. Yeah. Yes. Just also reminded the last part of the psalm that I was reading this morning, Psalm 93, said the Lord is holy forever. He is holy forever. And his throne is established. It's not moving. It's not shaking. And like Alice was saying, in the midst of these days where everything seems upside down, darkness is called light, and people are confused and fearful, we are the righteousness of God in Christ, and we're secure in him. And it's so important to make sure that that's the focus of our hearts, that we're secure, we know who we are, we're his, we're the sheep of his pasture, his children. Think about how much you protect and love your own children. How much more will God protect and love us and keep us safe? That doesn't mean that we won't go through difficulty or suffering. But we're not alone. We're his and he will do us good. He will work things out. He will um, work things through for good for all of us. He will make a way where there seems to be no way through the sea. He will deal with our enemies. He will bring their accusations and their plans to nothing. But in the midst of it, we will learn to trust him, to hold on tightly to him, to not try to fix the problems by ourselves, but to look for opportunities where he is working in our lives, where he's stretching and building our faith. And in the midst of all of that, we can reach out with hope to other people, show them 
Show them where our help comes from, where our trust is, where we get our wisdom, where we get our comfort, where we find our shelter, where we find love, love that the world can't give, peace that the world can't give. Yes, he is holy forever and his kingdom is established. It isn't moving. It's not going anywhere. And we're invited to sit back with him and watch as he deals with all of our enemies, all of the things in our lives. Let's be speaking what he's speaking in this season let's be in agreement with what he says let's look from his perspective and see what he sees let's step back from the chaos and the disorder and just still our hearts before him and know that he's god His throne is established forever and ever. Yes, thank you, Lord. You will always be holy forever, Lord. You will always be. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So as we wrapped up for this morning, just um, I just I just want to share um, uh, remind everyone. I think t tomorrow there'll be no um discipleship class at the um, light prayer, the lighthouse prayer tower. But instead, uh, we were meeting um together with the other um believers of Christ, and we are meeting at um. At the Lake Christian Center, um, for a time of worship, and a time of uh intercession, so it's just, um, uh, people from all the walks of life and different churches coming together worshiping the Lord, and uh, that's from ten fifteen to twelve thirty, so um, I think Pastor Julia and I will be there. So if you need directions, text us and we'll guide you. Um, next week there's a walk of life on a Saturday morning, ten o'clock. Um, just being the voice of um, to speak ag out against um, uh, the killing of of of, ba of um babies, um, abortion. So there's a walk for life. So again, any um, yeah, come come speak with us and and uh, we'll, I'll be there. So um, come join. So um, yeah. So so um, we'll we'll just um, continue to. Just remember, just after this, just continue to, you know, look to the Lord and continue to stay focused. Um, and let's just close with um, grace. Um, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Um, Go forth and, and, you know, be a blessing to the people around you and, you know, in your uh, workplace and at home and the friends that you meet. So be that blessing, be that light that shine forth. Thank you all. And we meet again uh, on Monday, um, same time. God bless all of you. Thank you. <laughs>